according to him, is the opposite. So, the idea of this verse is so silly and so stupid and so foolish and so dummy. Showing the disability of this corrupt, false man who could not refute the Christians. Do you see it? So my friend, this is just my snack for you for this evening for those who live in the state. And this is my morning snack for those who live in uh, Asia and uh, like where it is sun right now. And uh, by the way, don't forget, don't forget the prophet. He knows everything. And there's a Quran, there's science, brother. You know, the sun did not set in the sun, murky water. This is how it's appeared to him, brother. It's appeared. Where it says the word appeared? doesn't say that there. But in order to take the stupidity of Muhammad away, we say that. And not only that, they agree that when Muhammad, he said that the sun disappear and goes every day under the sun, the, the, the throne of Allah, it was a true hadith. So if we make a summary of this, the Muslim, they write down everything Muhammad is saying, everything he do, even when he shake his penis, they write it down. The Prophet hold his penis with his right hand. I mean, look, they're watching him. How in the world they saw it? Did your Prophet used to stand and show you his penis and he's holding it? The Prophet, he shake his penis three times. Like, how you know? Your Prophet, he have no shame. He don't turn his back to you when he do pee. Is it an animal place? The Prophet, he cleaned his ass with the three rocks. Like, what the heck? So you have the record of all those things, but you don't have a record for a debate? A debate which took the whole day. Because it says there, we were talking to him the whole day and he refused to answer. The Prophet, we gave him three rocks to clean his anus. Look at the story. And look at the title. Chapter, don't clean the private part with dunk. Like, what the heck? This is the chapter name. What is the chapter name? Don't clean your anus with dung. They are being polite, you know. It's, it's, don't, don't want to use the word anus, right? So they say, are saying that in the translation. But that, that, that don't clean your private part with dung. Like, why the Prophet, he want to clean his dung anyway? And Muhammad, he claimed that he should not clean with dung and bones because this is the food of the genie. Like, what the heck? So you have record of all those things, but you didn't have a record of a whole debate. What he they said to him, Jesus, okay, he you know he's born from no man. How you explain that? Or the, or Jesus, he is uh, he, he walked in water, he did miracles. How you explain that? You know, this is, should be a huge debate as any debate. There is no debate. So they have record in the most funny, silly, stupid things about their prophet, but they don't have a record of a debate. They have a record even that the Prophet imagined things as done by him, but he did not. So who did it? The man is a crazy, obviously. If you... If you are a person who imagined things happened and they never happened, that's meaning you have a chemical balance in your brain. But this is a Prophet. Was Muhammad imagining an angel coming to him? If a Muslim say no, we'll prove it. Your book saying he imagined things. And the excuse is bewitched. Who is going to believe in this garbage bewitched? What bewitched? In the old days, anyone, you know, who, uh, uh, you know, uh, mentally ill, they, they say he was bewitched because simply, especially the one who act normally during daytime, and suddenly he start doing something weird. So they call him bewitched. So once the prophet was bewitched, okay, and what happened? 
he began to imagine that he had done a thing with fact he did not do it so during that time Muhammad was bewitched if you remember my uh, my uh, I don't want to call it debate with this guy his name is Osama Abdullah he's a Christian prince and a liar the prophet was only bewitched for six months what only okay in six months how many verses he imagined how many Jibreel he imagined and how this Allah he allowed that such a thing happen to the one who is going to try he is the fax machine of Allah the fax machine is broken the fax machine is giving false messages now because this false machine Allah Prophet Muhammad he is imagining things he is imagining facts coming and he print the facts but it's not Allah talking to him <laughs> So, Muhammad was nothing but a fool, a person who did not know what even the Christian believe. Did the Christian believe that Jesus is himself is Allah or believe that Jesus is one of the three? Which one Muhammad? Idiot. Did the Christian believe that Mary is part of the Trinity? No. So obviously Muhammad, he have no idea of what he's talking about. Is Isa the son of Mary? Is that nephew of Moses? No. Is Mary the sister of Aaron? No. Is Mary the daughter of Amran? No. So how he can argue with the Christians? They will ask him those questions. Hey, idiot, where you get this Mary? She is the daughter of Amran. What Muhammad will say? Right? So, Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. And this is my invitation for anyone who claims to be a sheikh. If you are a sheikh, please leave a comment. We will welcome you to call me live on air. And we will be happy to have you to answer any of those things. Is that fair, people? Stop being a coward. And you can refute me by talking to yourself, but you cannot refute me by talking to me. And if you are a sheikh, not only we will welcome you, we will speak to you nicely and we will never hang up on you. I hang up only in just idiots, kids. Like the guy who did not know if his God is a spirit or not. We don't want to go to zero basic, basic training. And the drill sergeant is screaming, losing his voice because the private soldier, he's an idiot. Bring me your sheikh. Where are they? Those who claim they can refute me. If we made a promise, I will never hang up on you. And you make a promise, you will never hang up on me. And we make a promise that the one who hang up first is a loser. Why you don't do it? If I hang up on you, that's when you won the debate. But bring me a shake. You notice that all those who claim to be sheikh who call me, they regret the second the day they call me. And we never hang up on them. Actually, it's the opposite. We ask them to stay. Do you remember this kid, Nader Ahmad? For sure, you will love his name now to be mentioned. He's like he, he worship himself. He go around, Christian Prince, he run away from me, Christian Prince, and yeah, he run away from me. I mean, this guy is a, is a, is a kid, he's stupid. And then I lost my patient because last time I talked to him, he agreed that it's okay for his prophet to have sex with a goat. And then uh, this uh, Dudu, he said, everything the Christian prince, he said in this debate, insulted the prophet. I took it off from the debate. Look, so what is left? The whole debate is about your prophet having sex with a goat. And he said to me, so what? Is it better than the Bible says it smash their head? So this guy, he go around. Christian Prince is running away from me. I said, okay, you know what, Nadir Ahmad, he came to the chat here. I said, Nadir Ahmad, call me, come on. Let us see who's running from who. And I told him, you tell me what you want to talk about. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you a question. You remember it, right? You remember the, the, the argument? I don't want to call it debate because they are kids. And then he started talking about alcohol. About scientists, they discover that there is a huge number of uh, women, they are losing their baby or etc. You know? 
because of uh, alcohol. Okay, wonderful. But who said to you Christianity allow drinking and get drunk? Even the Bible says a drunken, they will not enter the, 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 the house of God, the, the, the kingdom of God, drunker and get, this is why Muhammad, he copied, he put it in the, in the Quran, he copied from Paul. He copied it word by word from Paul. So I said to him, okay, is alcohol is bad or good? Took me more than 25 minutes repeating the same question. Is alcohol good or bad? Bad or good? You remember that, you know, I can play it for you again. How long it took, me, it took him to answer? And then you will see an, an, an idiot, he claimed to be a Christian, says a Christian prince, you should have more patience, you idiot. I'm repeating the question for the last 25, 30 minutes. The same question is the Quran, the, okay, according to the Quran, is alcohol bad or good? Christian prince, you are changing topic now. So, uh, Abdul, according to the Quran, is the, you know, uh, and then you will see a Christian in the text saying, Christian prince, you have to be more patient, brother. Actually, once there's a Christian, he posted in the comments saying, I was, but he's talking about a different person, not, not, not the Dura. He said, I was surprised that this person, he had patience to talk to Christian Prince. I, he is the one who had the patience, not me. <laughs> you go from the right, you go left. You go from the left, you go right. And then a Christian idiot, I want to call them those idiots because they are, I don't know, they are fake Christians. He claimed that that guy is the one who have a patient, not me. I'm really surprised that this guy, he have patient to talk and he stay talking to Christian Prince. What? I'm the one repeating the question 25, seven time. Every two seconds. And he is the one is patient. And then a Christian, he will say to you, Christian Prince, why you don't let them speak? Like, what the heck? What's wrong with those people? So what we were doing? <sighs> let us see. Just for comedy. <laughs> Just for the purpose of comedy. Nothing more, nothing less. Hey, Nader Ahmed, how are you? Well, hello, CP. How have you been doing? After all these years, we finally meet. This is very good. I get a chance to meet you. How have you been doing? Thank you. I'm very fine. So what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yes, so, you know, uh, we've been having these wonderful debates on the Bible, Quran, and modern science. Mostly Quran and modern science, but and what, Quran, I have a few Quran challenges. And Quran and science? Absolutely, we've been having these discussions and debates, and I have said Christian has been running away from this debate series because he knows that the Quran is in complete harmony with modern science, okay. and there's... <laughs> Okay, 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 give us one, give us one, give us one. Let, let us not waste time, me and you. So for some reason your voice is cutting. Well, let us, give, give me one, give, you me, one miracle. give me one miracle. Okay, listen, you have to, why were you running away from me, from this debate? My People said, no, 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 see who is Don't make excuses, we are here, let us see who is running. Give me a miracle, let us laugh. Uh, well, here's what I would like to do, uh, Christian. Friends, I would like for us to have a public debate on this topic. 
in uh, which... Abdul, do you want to debate me or talk to me right uh, now? Until we have that happen, give me the miracle. Everybody will laugh okay. at you. You are, you are playing like a kid. You call me, you claim, you claim you can debate me. Here we go. We can do it right now. Why next year? Why next century? Do it right now. Otherwise, you are just a kid wasting my time. So I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you, please. Don't let us speak like a dog. Are you going to debate me right now okay, or you will never do it? Well, well, first of all, I will give you want me to give you a scientific miracle right now. I can okay. do that, mm -hmm. but I think you should first answer why you are running away from me. Well, answer that to the people. Well, because the one is running. I'm saying to you, let's do it right now. You said no. It's you who's running. Do okay. it. Go ahead. What I <laughs> let's do let's do ten minutes right now. No I can give you will be one. Look, it's a crossfire debate. Everybody will hear us. It's a conversation. Go ahead. Okay, here's the problem. If we don't have set rules with time limits, friend, things like that, then we're just going to be... It's a free, it's a, it's a free, if it's a free boxing match. Show me. Aren't you the one who speak? You speak, you know, you play karate and you are good at boxing. Do your boxing, free boxing match. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Christian Prince, okay. the don't problem here is what I... Stop, stop making excuses. The rules go for both of us. It's a free, free, free. Say whatever you want. Do whatever. 15 minutes debating about to debate and you talk about patient this guy you go around Christian Prince ran away from me Christian Prince ran away from me all of them are the same all of them they are chicken and now okay we uh, here we go I, I called you and you are with me live and did not ask you a question tell me whatever you want go ahead uh, no, we have to set rules. What rules? The second Muslim he asked for rules, he is asking for a way to escape. You see, that's why I don't do those things like stupid things they do in other channels, like five minutes for me, five minutes for him. There's no need for this garbage because he can say whatever he wants, he get away with it. Crossfire debate is a real debate and don't tell me what the topic you see those people who ask for a topic they are asking like a topic in advance two months in advance they go search in google they print a thousand reference in front of them and they start reading from a paper regardless if they are christian or, or, or muslims so what is the debate so now this dudu he is with us okay are you going to debate or not and then later you will see a christian saying let him talk come on christian prince you are not letting him let me talk Whatever you want, go ahead. <laughs> but I have a very good excuse. My excuse no, from running from you excuse. is this. You are a coward. Okay, you, let me give you. You are wasting our time. Are you ah. going to debate me or not? Okay, what, what I cannot do, Christian Prince, is are win a shouting match. Are you going to debate me That's now or not? Howard on the run. Okay, so we're going to talk about one scientific miracle, and then you're going to agree to debate me later on. Okay, so I, I, let's do science. I, I am agreeing to debate you anytime. Here we go. I'm here with you. Go ahead. Uh, CP, we need a format. We need equal time, and, and we need to don't, ship. Don't call me again. You are just a kid. You don't dare even. See why I hang up on people? Do you see why I hang up on those Muslims? They say to you why you hang up on him. There's no point of talking to them. First, there is no honesty. Never waste your time with somebody repeating a lie. That's it. Okay, you said you lie. Bye-bye. Go. There's no point. And I have the reference in front of me on the screen to get you busted. I give you an opportunity to talk to me to prove me wrong. You waste your opportunity about saying things does not make any sense. I will hang up on you. So are you going to debate me or not? This guy, 24 hours, seven days a week, he go from place to place. You want to debate every Christian? And all the Christians are running away from him. Everybody run away from him. I mean, come on. And to talk to me, we need a format. What format? Be a man. You, you are the one who said you want to debate me. You, you keep saying I'm running from you. You are just a kid. You are not even equal to my shoe. You don't even know how to say your prophet name correctly. If I call you right now and I ask you to say your prophet name correctly, do you do? Do you know how to say it? You don't. And you are the one who agree your prophet have sex with the goat. What more I want from you? 
So either you want to do it now, don't waste my time. I will call you one more time. Either we do debate now. Don't put rules, no rule for you, no rule. Notice, he will not say you lie. I did not say the prophet have sex with the goat. <laughs> he agreed because that's what he said, you know. <laughs> See, he said, he said, so what? <laughs> so what? <laughs> Better than your Bible says, smash the head of the babies. <laughs> All for me, speak as much as you want. Get me busted. Go ahead. Let me call you. So, that hurt my feeling. Do you accept or not? That hurt my feeling. <laughs> yes, let's do it today because I know you'll run away like a coward. So let's just do so, what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Be, be a man once in your life and talk. Go ahead. Speak as an adult. Go ahead. Okay. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yes, so we're going to do one scientific miracle okay. proves that the Quran is the truth and you are actually following a demon called Christ. So both the Bible and the Quran actually answers a question on the issue of alcohol. Now, what's very interesting here, there was a study done, I don't have my hmm. desktop, which is shared, where I'll show you that study, hmm. but in this study, it showed hmm. that, the, that the Quran actually Muslim, because of the teachings of the Quran, the Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give a, a baby, uh, I'm sorry, to give birth to a baby who has fetal alcohol syndrome. The study said you got to go to the Christians because of the influence of the Bible. So the question tonight, which Christian Prince needs to answer here, hmm. is, okay, so the book of the Quran and the Bible, they gave an answer to this question of alcohol. And when we look at the Quranic answer, it is a far superior what answer. Is the, what is the Quran answer? Until now, you will not give me the verse from the Quran, remember. <clears throat> we are talking about chapter. Well, I'm sorry, chapter what? What did you say? What chapter? Chapter five, talking? verse nine. What chapter? Chapter five, verse nine. Chapter yeah, chapter five, five verse ninety. Chapter five, verse, verse 90. ninety. Okay, tell me about it. Go ahead. Now we know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Okay, and then I'll tell you about it, but I'm following you because I'm, I know you you will not run away from me and we'll debate on this topic. So that's the agreement here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the verse in chapter 5, verse 90. Okay. It says, forbidden food is uh, alcohol, any kind of intoxicant, mm -hmm. gambling. Okay. So from the study here, they pointed out that, this, that Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give birth to a fetal alcohol because of the teachings of the Quran. Now, the question is here, which you need to answer, is how is it that the Quran but, gave a bad where, where, response? Where is speaking about the, the, the alcohol is bad, where it says that? No, it says for you forbidden is yeah. alcohol, any kind of intoxicants. But where it says, and, where it says, and because of for, that, where it says it's bad for your health in the verse you quote for me. That is bad for your health. No, it is completely forbidden for Muslims. This is clear. Okay. And from uh, the study uh, again. Uh, another, another, another. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm asking you a very simple question. You say that this is about health. I'm asking you, why in the verse never say anything about health? It says this is from shaitan. That's all. Because it's from shaitan, don't do it, correct? Yes, this is from shaitan. And so because as the study concluded, it is the teachings of the Quran. Hmm. which caused Muslim women to abstain from alcohol. And so the question from again is that how did how could Allah of the Quran provide a better response okay. than Jesus of the Bible on the question of alcohol? That's a question you need to answer okay. now. Well, okay. And so no, this no, no, no. Let, let us make it clear. I'm just trying to get a full sentence from you. So are you saying the Quran confirmed that alcohol is bad no matter what? The Quranic position is that it is forbidden. Yes, no, it's no, forbidden. It's forbidden. I, I know it's forbidden. This is not a question. Are you saying that alcohol is bad no matter what? It's bad. It's ugly. Yes or no? No, no matter what, no matter what. But I think these are irrelevant questions no, you're asking. You're running away from the study. This is the topic. If you like to count how many times I need to repeat the same question, just start counting. Already I did maybe five times. The question very simple. Is alcohol bad or good? Is it bad or good? Very simple.
the question now is irrelevant. irrelevant. Okay. <laughs> this is the topic. I want to know if alcohol is bad or it is okay. not bad. Is it bad or not? I mean, what's wrong with you? So you are saying to me, Quran is forbidden alcohol. Okay, forbidden because of what? Because it's good or because it's bad? Yeah. What? You don't understand the question. Oh, so I need you to take no, some time. This is my question. This is my question. This is Guys, you don't understand the question. I mean, the question is difficult. I mean, come on, we have to agree. Like, what is the question? I don't understand the question. Like, what? Like, what is the question? Give me the question, I will answer it right away. What is the question? The Quranic position is that it is forbidden. Yes, no, it's, no, forbidden. it's forbidden. I, I know it's forbidden. This is not a question. Are you saying that alcohol is bad no matter what? It's bad. It's ugly. Yes or no? No, 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 no. But I think these are irrelevant questions you're this asking. You're question. running away this from the, the study. This is the topic. Right? This is the topic. I want to know if alcohol is bad or it is okay. not bad. Is it bad or not? I mean, what's wrong with you? So you are saying to me, Quran is forbidden okay. alcohol. Okay, forbidden because of what? Because it's good or because it's bad? Yeah. What? You don't understand the question. Here, so I need you to take no, some time. This is my question. This is my question. This is my question. This is my question. You don't understand the question. You don't, you don't understand the question. Like, what the question? And then you will see somebody from those Christians who claim to be Christian. Christian prince let him talk. And you have no patience. And I will not be surprised if somebody says from those Christians too that I'm surprised that this guy, the Muslim guy, he had patience to talk to you not yours the Quran forbid alcohol is it because it is bad or because it's good you're saying okay so you're saying alcohol is forbidden I'm Quran. Not saying, is it because I'm not it's bad or good you why you are in trouble very simple question how many time I need to repeat listen carefully the Quran forbid alcohol that's wonderful does the Quran forbid the alcohol because it is bad or because it's good So the reasons why the Quran forbade there's actually a reason in the Quran they said there's some good bad outweighs the good. Why you don't give me the that. answer? And why, so why the you issue here. Why you are making a speech? I mean, the answer is very simple. Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad, or Allah forbid the alcohol because it's good. Which one? Choose one. I've already given you the answer. Now the, the no, issue is, I'm going to read it no, to you, and you got to no, answer. I want a clear answer. Is it bad or good? Is alcohol is bad or good? See, CP, I need you to stop interrupting me. I know you're scared. Stop, I know this is the point you are not able to answer. I want and one one word. Is it bad or good? Stop interrupting me. <laughs> hey, listen, Prince, let him talk. Why don't let him talk? Stop interrupting me. Look, what the heck? I'm repeating the same question for the last 15 minutes. Let me talk. Vacation Prince, let him talk, okay? What? Good, you are the one who chose the topic. Everybody is my witness, and now you don't dare to answer. What's wrong with you? Okay, Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad or because it's good. CP. CP, you gotta let me. Don't interrupt me. You have I'm to let me answer. Okay, we're answer gonna have an intelligent I'm making a speech. I mean, the answer is very simple. You call me. You say, it's according to science, proving that women they give birth and they have a, a, a defect in their birth. That's wonderful. That means alcohol is bad. So why you don't say it's bad? Is it bad or not? You know, the, the, the issue with the Quranic position on alcohol <laughs> is that there is some good in it. My friend, I want okay, you to you mention to okay, me, there is, some is it you who mentioned to me in the beginning saying that science proved that most of women who give a defect birth, the reason for defect birth, and you, you mentioned the word Christian specifically, that the reason for that the highest percentage is right. because of alcohol. So is alcohol is bad or good? Okay, okay, your question, as I understand. <laughs> Do you know why they didn't dare to answer? They made an article, and the article, this they were teaching Muslims how to refute Christian prayers. 
whatever Christian prince he said to you, this is number one. I wish I can find the article. Uh, this is they made it many years ago. Don't say yes, don't say no, because whatever he say you say, he will get you busted. Even if he said the prophet was a wonderful man, don't say yes. And this is an example. This guy, he don't want to say yes or no, because the second he say it, he knew there is something coming. He knew he's talking to Christian Prince. He's not talking to somebody, anyone. He knew that Christian Prince will not ask a question unless there is something, there's a, there's a, there's some kind of explosive device coming. <laughs> it is yes, it's good or bad. I mean, what's wrong with you? But the guy is struggling like, what is the, like what? What is the question? Remember, this is his topic. He is the one who called me. He is the one who challenged. He is the one who mentioned it. Well, I want a clear answer. Is it bad or good? Is alcohol is bad or good? See, see, I need you to stop interrupting me. I know you're scared. Stop, I know this is the point you are not able to answer. I want and one what word. Is it bad or good? You are the one who chose the topic. Everybody is my witness. And now you don't dare to answer. What's wrong with you? Okay, Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad or because it's good. CP. CP, you got to let me. Don't interrupt me. You have I'm to let me answer. Okay, we're going to have an intelligent... I'm making a speech. I mean, the answer is very simple. You call me, you say, it's according to science, proving that women, they give birth, and they have a, a, a defect in their birth. That's wonderful. That means alcohol is bad. So why you don't say it's bad? Is it bad or not? You know, the, the, the issue with the Quranic position on alcohol <laughs> is that there is some good in it. My friend, I want oh, you to mention to okay, me, there is some is it you who mentioned to me in the beginning saying that science proved that most of women who give a defect birth, the reason for defect birth, and you, you mentioned the word the Christian specifically, that the reason for that the highest percentage is right. because of alcohol. So is alcohol is bad or good? Okay, okay. Your question, as I understand your question, you're you're saying that overall alcohol, a good or bad thing, is that your question? Like, I mean, this is even your topic, and you don't even dare to answer. You call me saying that because of drinking I, alcohol, women do give birth to children who have defect in their birth. Okay, that's your claim, and you claim this is from science. That's wonderful. Now I'm asking you, based on what you told me, is that mean? And based on the Quran forbidding the alcohol, does that mean according to Allah, alcohol is bad or good? Oh, I think I understand your question. Your, your question is, okay, did Allah forbid alcohol for a specific reason of preventing fetal alcohol babies? Is what's, that your question? No, no, what's wrong with you? You are in trouble. You are like a cartoon, Mickey Mouse. You are, you are in the corner. You know what to say. I'm asking you, is it bad or good? Very simple. Don't, I, tell me, don't tell me any reason. I want to know. Is alcohol, according to the Quran, bad or good? Ah, bad. Okay, did you answer your question? Thank it's bad. You. If, 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 if. It took us 10 hours to get it, the word bad. And look how stupid this argument. Because if this is the case, Allah forbid it because women, they will give such a thing, then the women, then men, they shouldn't drink it because men, they don't get, uh, <laughs> they don't carry babies. <laughs> but the verse of the Quran, Allah speaking to men. <laughs> so, the idiot, you know what you can do, an idiot. So, this is how much patience you need to talk to Muslims. And then they will see somebody sitting in his chair, drinking his coffee or his I, you know, I, I, I stay or whatever, relaxing, say, Christian friends, you have to be more patient, brother. Brother, you hang up on this guy. Brother, we might just bring him to Christ, brother. You know, they are sitting there, relax, you know, and I'm losing my voice repeating my question, screaming. And then the Christian say, Christian Prince, brother, you need more patient. You are very tough on the Muslim. But what? Actually, the most who make me upset is not Muslim comment. It's Christian comments. It's really weird. I mean, they screw you how to talk to Muslims. And they themselves, they never did talk to one. I mean, I spend my life making Muslim leave Islam, and then you will see a guy who never spoke to a Muslim, 
They never made a Muslim leave the cult of Islam. He is schooling you how to talk to Muslim. Okay, now we reach the point. This is the, the part. Uh, this is part two of the movie. <laughs> Now he got the question, man. So this is the question, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I think I understand your question. Your your question is, okay, did Allah forbid alcohol for specific reason of preventing fetal alcohol babies? Is what? that your question? No, no. What's wrong with you? You are in trouble. You are like a cartoon, Mickey Mouse. You are, you are in the corner. You know what to say. I'm asking you, is it bad or good? Very simple. Don't tell me, don't tell me any reason. I want to know. Is alcohol, according to the Quran, bad or good? Ah, bad. Okay. Did answer your question. Then it's bad. But there's a little bit of good in it. The Quran okay, finally, you said it is bad. So That's how right. come the Quran says it is good? Here we go. This is the chapter 16, verse number 67. You made me lose my voice. Repeating the same question. The Quran says that the alcohol is amazing drink. It's the best. It's a miracle of Allah. Read for me the verses. <clears throat> He's searching Google now. The moment of the truth. Is it bad or good? Are you finding the verse? I'm sorry, I'm not even looking at your screen. Well, did you want me to respond? No, no, I don't want you to respond. You can call a friend. I mean, what's wrong with you? The Quran says, do you want me to respond? See, they, are, they say things just take, taking time to think what they were saying, you know? They say things doesn't make sense. Uh, do you want me to respond to this? There's something in the screen, Christian Prince, you know? Should you know the how the weather there, you know? So he's just trying to buy time so he think what he will come with, like you know. So do you think like did did, did you fix the faucet in your kitchen? It's uh, it's we're leaking, you know. He will come with anything just to avoid going to the answer. He's he's buying time to think. You said to me it's bad a second ago. You said to me a second ago the Quran says that the alcohol is bad. Now the Quran saying that alcohol is a great drink. It's even a miracle from Allah. It is a benefit for mankind. And you can change any translation you want. What translation you want to put for you on the screen? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not even looking at your screen. So can I let me answer that if you, if I may? Uh, okay. One thing I will require of you, Christian, do not interrupt me in my rebuttal. Because if we're going to have an intelligent debate, we should not be interrupting. Because simply you just say that the alcohol is bad. The Quran is very saying the alcohol is amazing. I mean, can we even make a rebel? Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so let me now respond to you without interruption. Because if you interrupt me, this is an act of cowardice, and this is exactly what I'm saying. He can't. The debate now is about interruption. See, he's buying time. This is what they do. They're just buying time. They don't know what to do. They don't interrupt me, okay? No, do you want to hear my rebel? Don't interrupt me and we start talking, blah, 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 saying nothing. What are you thinking about? What I would do with this verse now? can't handle me in this debate, so he's got to interrupt me. So let me now go sure. ahead and... We cannot handle you, for sure. Okay. Well, you know, no. For sure, you are like a little big cat. I mean, I'll answer how the Quran, the same book, saying alcohol is a sign from Allah. It's a great benefit for mankind. And this is amazing product to, to, to use. It's a benefit. You make good deeds from it. You make good money from it. You make good health from it. It is in the top of that. It's a sign from Allah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're going to need to speak, or are you going to run away? I'm waiting, Hello, guys. I'm waiting for your interruption, majesty. Uh, I'm waiting for your majesty. Uh, Stop uh, complaining uh, about interruption. You can do interrupt, interrupt me too. We said it's a free form. And I, I, you're, I want, you're in duty. Remember, you're in duty here. Supposedly, you are going to show me your knowledge. And your knowledge is a joke. You are just a kid. You choose a topic. You okay. mentioned the topic, and now you do not know what to say because your God said alcohol is amazing. How you answer that? Okay, I want everybody to understand when you interrupt somebody, this is an act of cowardice. He's running away because I'm about to put this uh, put the slam uh, dunk on to him. So let me go ahead and answer the question. Mm -hmm. The issue with the Quran actually made it clear: in alcohol, there is some good. However, the bad. Is the good. So this is a, uh, this is what the Quran and the Quran and the kind of <laughs> just get lost, <laughs> get lost, stupid idiot.
There's a, a it's a waste of time to talk to you. It says in the front of you, it's a good. <laughs> you made good from it. You made good nourishment of it. Indeed, you made good nourishment of it. See where I hang up? And then I call him back, by the way. I feel sorry for them. And at the same time, I say to myself, like, you know, in this circus, I mean, when you dump out the, 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 this idiot, the joker of the circus, you know, in the middle, I mean, people will laugh at what? So let us invite him again. But you lose your patience. The Quran says there is some good in it. You just say it, it's bad. And again, I call him again. Indeed, if you have sense, indeed you are a donkey. You are a certified donkey. Obviously, you do not know your book. It's a waste of time for someone like me. I can put my toes in a chat room and you cannot answer my toes. Who are you? So when you say, I'm going to debate the Christian prince, I want to debate the Christian prince, you're a potato. Let me, yeah, the Quran says there's some benefit. What some benefit? It says, I asked you, is it bad or good? And I repeated the question a hundred times so you can think about it carefully. And then finally I made you say it. It's bad. It's bad. Chapter 16, verse number 67, Allah praise alcohol, claiming that he is the one who made it for us. It's for our benefit. So don't go around. You see, I, I, I just now, I give you like a bite. You know, that like, you know, you want to bite my shoe? I give you my shoe. But as you see, even my shoe, you cannot even bite it because your mouth is so small. Potato. And if you want to talk about health and birth defect, I never saw birth defect as much in Islamic countries because you marry from your cousin.